Do you have an ED64 laying around and you want to get more functionality out of it? You're sick of playing N64 games all the time, you want to do something a little different, and you're sick of the dashboard looking like that. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how to put Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, and NES games on this and get them to run properly. So uh, stick around, and if you don't know what an ED64 is, it's pretty much a knockoff EverDrive. And I'll leave a link in the description below to a review I did on it previously. But anyways, let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, uh, if your EverDrive looks like mine, it needs an update. This is old software or firmware, whatever you want to call it, so we need to upgrade this. So let's head over to the PC and I'll show you what we need to do from there. Now the first thing we're doing now that we're on here is taking the SD card out of our ED64 and plugging it into our PC. I already did that and for me it's removable disk E. You don't have to do this, this part's completely optional, I'm just going to right click and format it. I don't mind losing what's on it and I'll show you how easy it is to get it all back. Yes. And okay, cool. So we're gonna have three sites we're working with today. And uh, one of them is the ED64 Plus on the official page. So if you scroll down, it'll tell you, you know, what's on the updates and what emulators it's running, like NES, uh, Sega Master System, Game Boy, which all these emulators are doo-doo, by the way. Uh, I'll show you a comparison later in the video of how these run versus how I will get them to run. Uh, Sega, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get that run. I think that's just, that's fine. Um, but the first thing you'll notice is the link here is for the software. We're just going to right click, open a new tab. We're going to hit download and then we're going to head back to that page. And here are the emulators. We're going to do the same exact thing. Right click, download, and we're all set on those. So uh, let's just keep going. Uh, the next page we're going to go to is Micro 64. Uh, in this post, it basically shows you the functionality of the ED64 and things you can do with it. But they were kind enough to leave a link to the Alt 64 version, which is what we'll need to get these running properly. Um, just click this link here. And we have Alt 64. And lastly, we have the GB64 page, and if you saw my last Pokemon video that I did, uh, you'll know that I use this to convert the Pokemon Game Boy Color ROMs into an N64 format, which made them playable on the Retro Blaster. And it's the same principle for what we're going to be doing here today. And uh, he also includes an emulator for an EverDrive that we can test out as well. So uh, that's it for the downloads for now, and uh, I'll show you how we set up the SD card. Now here are all the files that we just downloaded, so let's open up our SD card. And the first one we're going to do is this Fabo334. We're going to drag that right in, right click, and extract here. Just let that whole thing decompress. And it'll pretty much be the same setup that you had before you formatted it, uh, if you even formatted it with me. Um, refresh. And we can get rid of the RAR here. We don't need the RAR anymore. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is make a subfolder for Alt64. Now, you don't really need to do this if you want to run Alt64 on its own, you can, but I like booting into Alt64 from the ED64 stuff, so uh, that's just what I'm going to do. If you want to do it differently, you can. So take the Alt64 ED plus yada yada, drag that in there, right click, and extract here again. And we can delete this ROM. Well, RAR, I should say. Got ROMs on the brain. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go back a page and we're going to go into ED64P. And in here, I'm going to make a folder called Emulators. And from here, we're going to go to the MU zip, right click and extract to. Open it up and we're going to drag and drop all this stuff onto the SD card in the emulators folder. So let's just give this a second here. All right, so here are all your emulators. Um, we do have to do a little bit of folder structuring here to get them to work properly, like this, for example. We'll make one called NES ROMs, and we'll drag the mu.z64 in there. I'm pretty sure that is the uh, NES emulator. The next thing we're going to do is throw a ROM in here, and you can see I have all my ROMs on my desktop here. So for NES, I'm going to go with Donkey Kong. 
and let's head back a page and we already have the Game Boy emulator this one works eh, all right but this is the one we'll be using um, just double click that go to games and we will put a Game Boy game in so I'll go with Super Mario Land and that one's done uh, the next thing we're gonna do is the Game Boy Color so I'll just call this one uh, Game Boy Color ROMs and inside this folder we don't have the emulator and we have to download it so this is where that last site comes into play uh, if you just hit download emulator here open it up extract 2 we want this GBC V64 here. We just want to toss that into the SD card, right into this uh, Game Boy Color folder we made. And then from here, we can toss our ramen. Ramen. Um, so we'll go with Space Invaders for Game Boy Color. And lastly, now all these emulators, I'm gonna tell you right now that they're not gonna work well. Uh, I'll show you the workaround right now, but I will do a comparison between the two so you can see for yourself. Uh, if we back up, I'm going to make my own folder. Technically, these are going to work as N64 games. You could put them pretty much anywhere on the uh, ED64 or whatever, wherever your games used to be. Uh, but since these are going to be Game Boy and Game Boy Color games that I'm converting, I'm just to organize it, I'm going to keep it all in a folder called uh, Game Boy Games. Why not? And inside of here, we're going to convert the Space Invaders and Super Mario Land ROMs into an N64 format. So let's head back over to the site and go to Choose Files. And I have them all here. So we have Space Invaders, and that was Game Boy Color. And if you have a BIOS, you can choose that. This is what will give you the startup animation, like on the Game Boy Color. And we're going to select the save type SRAM, add to padding, convert and download. And I'm going to refresh the page and I'm going to do this one more time with Super Mario Land. And again, if you have your BIOS, you can insert them now. Uh, save SRAM, add to padding, convert and download. We're going to open these up. And I'm just going to drag these two games right on the SD card, right into the Game Boy uh, games folder that we created. So do that. And really, that's it. It's done. It might be a little confusing since I'm doing multiple files at once, but it's really quick, it's really easy, and we're done. So I'm going to head back over to the N64, and I'll show you guys what's changed. So where to start? This already looks a lot better. I mean, the background change looks a lot better. It's a lot better than that green that was on the old one. Um, I don't know, even the text to me looks better. It looks more clear, visible to see. Uh, a big improvement right here. Uh, by the way, just so you know, you can put your own wallpapers in here and change the background uh, yourself and customize it. But uh, I'm not going to go through that. If anybody wants to see that, leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can get to it. Um, but yeah, so Alt 64, which what we created earlier, you're pretty much only going to use this if you're running into trouble with these emulators. So I haven't tested all the games, but most of them that I have tested work just fine. If they're not running well, try doing the exact same thing I'm about to show you, but on Alt-64. It should be the same exact setup, essentially. Uh, actually, if I open up Alt-64, you'll see 64DD. If we open that up, it'll say 64DD conversions go here. Uh, those N64 ROMs that we converted earlier, you could toss them right into there, and uh, they may have a chance of working with the Alt-64 firmware. So anyways, uh, with the way that I did earlier, You'll just go to the ED64P. This is the home page, by the way. This is what the uh, the game just started on. So go to ED64P, emulators, and we'll start with the Game Boy emulators. This is the one that uh, we just downloaded from the ED64P webpage. So I'm gonna click that, go to games, and here's Super Mario Land. So I'm gonna press A and let that start up. So these load times can be pretty spotty. They can take up to a minute, uh, mainly for Game Boy Color though. These usually come on pretty fast. So you can see it started up, but I mean, listen to this. That sounds awful. Listen to it. And it's kind of, there's definitely like a, a frame rate issue and I wouldn't be able to play it like this the whole time. So. Let's just go back and I'll show you how to do it properly. 
So it's pretty much the same thing. You're just going to go back into your emulators folder and you'll see the uh, Game Boy games that we created earlier with uh, Super Mario Land in it. But you'll notice it's a .64 format now. So let's open that up and see what happens. Instantly, the screen looks different. We actually have a little bit of color. It sounds just fine. Might even be a little loud on my end. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's no frame rate issues. Um, oh, this is running pretty good. And again, this works with most NES games, uh, most um, Game Boy Color games, and most Game Boy games. So, I don't really have a conversion list for you, you just kind of have to play around with it and figure out what works. So let's try out the Game Boy Color next. So next on the list will be the Game Boy Color, and we have Space Invaders. And the uh, Game Boy Color has an incredible loading time, not really that bad, but it's about a minute. So I'm going to skip forward to where this is actually playing, just give me a second. Alright, so we're here. This thing is running in incredible slow-mo. I skipped the whole introduction, startup credits for this game, and just listen to that. It's not good, so I'm just gonna turn this off and we're gonna head back to where we were. Now, if we're doing this with the N64 conversion method, it'd be the same thing. Go to Game Boy Games, and here's Space Invaders. So, we'll launch it up this way instead. Alright, so now you can tell off-rip the sound sounds a lot better. Not slow-mo, I don't care, I'll just pick anything just to start it up. And it's actually going pretty fast, and pretty decent gameplay too. No complaints on my end. So the last one we're going to check out is the NES emulator, so let's do that. Now the NES emulator actually works pretty good off-rip with no adjustments. So go into NES. Select your game, which was Donkey Kong. It'll have a little boot up sequence giving credit to uh, Haley's Comet Software, which developed Neon 64, which is the emulator we're using now. Just press A, and the game will start up. Sounds good. Alright, let's fucking go! And already the gameplay is fine, the color's fine, the sound's fine. Uh, this is good enough for me. And it definitely adds a lot more functionality and use to the ED64. <gasps> Alright, so that's pretty much it for this. I'm just going to prove that my N64 games still work as well, because some of you might be concerned that I formatted it and deleted everything. I'm not worried about it. Everything should work just fine. Oh yeah. It's working alright. Holy shit, that's a big ass bug. Alright, I'm not going to do a whole gameplay video on this. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed what you've been seeing here, if you want me to cover more content like this, maybe cover other flashcards or things of that nature, leave a comment down below, and uh, feel free to join the Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. That's it for me, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.